Hey folks, Matt from writeoftheimage.com. I've got a viewer question in here. The heading of the email is help with camera selection. This is from uh, Roal. hope I'm saying that right. He says, hello Matt, I like your YouTube channel. It's really informative. I'm looking to purchase my first camera and have decided on the one of the two below. The camera will be for traveling, uh, concerts, sports, events, and family events. There will be a small need for video. Nikon D7200 DSLR, AFP DX18-55, 35-56 G VR lens, and an AFP 70-300 uh, ED lens. Nikon bag is uh, 999 total plus tax, so it must be a kit. Uh, the 7500 DSLR, uh, Nikon D7500, AFP 18-55 VR, the 70-300 uh, VR, uh, AFP. 32 gig and a Nikon bag and the extra battery. The cost is $14.99. Can you let me know your input on the cameras above and which would be a better purchase considering the cost difference? I'm looking to make my purchase in the next few days. Any questions, please let me know. Thank you in advance. Ruel. Well, thank you for your question. And uh, basically, the big differences here is you're getting a better lens. You're getting a 70 to 300 uh, EDVR lens in the um, in the 7500 kit. Um, you're also, I mean, there's a big difference in the camera. Um, they're two very different cameras, 20 megapixels versus 24. The 7500 is basically a baby 500. It's got the little bit better high ISO sensor, but a little bit less resolution. The 7200 has a little more resolution, still very good high ISO, but not quite as good as the 7500. Um, the 7500 also does 4K video. Um, the fact that you're getting the 32 gig card, the Nikon bag, and the extra battery makes, I think, that a very good value at $14.99. I would probably myself be tempted to go with the 7500. Um, I like the fact that it's the VR 70 to 300 lens, and I like that lens. Uh, it comes with a, a 32 gig card, and it has an extra battery. So that um, is good, especially on the lens. That's huge on the lens. The other, the other little add-ons are good. But then also the 7500 is probably the way I would go simply because it has the 4K video. I really like the 7200, but I like a camera to have 4K video. So that's probably the way I would go. Um, nothing wrong with the 7200. Strong performer, still a great camera. Probably just a shade better autofocus system in it than the 7500. Um, but again, you don't have that VR 70 to 300 lens, and you've got some other features there, plus you don't have 4K. So that's why I would go with the 7500 kit. I think that's probably a pretty good deal for that kit. Uh, let me throw it back to our viewers. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Would you go with the 7500 kit? And for the reasons I said, this, that VR lens to me is a big one. And the 7500 is 4K. Or do you think the 7200 is the better deal? Less money, uh, still a great camera. Uh, you can live without the VR lens, maybe. Let me know in the comments below what would you do and why. Let's help out our viewer. Let's help out Ruel. Uh, always great to hear back from you guys. Your input, your feedback, your opinions it helps our viewers get a, like a really rounded response. Helps them think things through when they're going to make a purchase. Um, maybe there's something else you do entirely you might want to suggest. Let me know in the comments below. Let's help them out. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.